Man, on the heels of flying the Sling 4, the obvious question that comes out of this is, okay, I get interested. How do I get one of these things? As I understand it now, you've got a number of different options for uh, building the airplane, including uh, a new option that will allow somebody to have a basic, flyable, unpainted, but otherwise airworthy Sling 4 in as little as a couple of weeks. Yeah, absolutely. We've partnered with Synergy Air up in Oregon, and uh, we offer a, offering a program which we call the Sling uh, for two-week turbo build, which is a program whereby the builder owner will go spend several weeks up in Oregon, and basically with the education and the tools and the facility that they have there, build their airplane in a very short amount of time, and of course that's building it from the quick build kit. The investment, though, to save all that time has got to be considerable. What's that going to cost? What's that going to include? What is somebody going to have to add when they get the whole thing done? Yeah, absolutely. The, the whole program, we're aiming at about 190000 which would be the airplane, the engine, the avionics, the propeller, in the quick build form, and then with all the assistance and education that is needed and all the tools that are required to build it, and things that are very expensive like paint and registration, and everything that's involved in making the airplane ready to taxi off and fly away, we're looking at approximately 190000 With paint? With paint. Holy smokes. Okay, well, there's $10,000 or so bonus. Yeah, absolutely. So basically, the quick build kit with all of the items and ancillaries that are required to make it fly would be approximately 125000 for all of the components if you're going to build it yourself without this two-week turbo build program. You know, paint could be twelve to 15000 depending. It all adds up. And so we try to offer it as low as possible. But the advantage, of course, is that you have a known time commitment and you have a known outcome. You absolutely can finish that airplane. How does somebody prepare to go out and do something like this? Uh, what kind of lead time is involved? And more important, what choices uh, do they need to make in advance? How would they come about and prepare themselves for a project like this? Because, you know, at the end, you've got to be happy with what you got. Yeah, absolutely. The, the first uh, quick build program is going to start in October, November this year. And then we, we are going to have them every month or two from that point on. And in terms of preparation, the only real consideration is what avionics you want. And we have several options, a VFR and an IFR option. And then using Dynon in advanced, and Garmin is also an option, and anything that you want, practically. The price goes up if you go for one of the non-standard options. Besides that, paint is the only other choice you have to make, but that's a choice that you don't have to make till the end, because that's one of the things that's exempted from the 51% build requirement. So you would leave after that time period, and then the painting would happen you know, in your absence. Outstanding. Now, for those who can't quite make the $190,000 nut, you mentioned that all the parts together, and especially now with the advent of a very, very complete looking quick build kit, can be done for a hundred and a quarter? Yeah, about 125, and you would have the, the airframe, the engine, the propeller, the avionics, the wiring, upholstery, except the paint. What does the quick build process really bring to a kit like this? One of the things that people are concerned about is they feel they can build the basics, but they really don't want to do the stuff that's important. They're scared of the spars. They're scared of firewall forward. They're really scared of the electronics. What does a quick build really do for you? Yeah, the quick build will basically save you from the tedious and very repetitive minor tasks like putting in 18,000 rivets. The spars come pre-riveted from the factory. Those all use solid rivets, so they always, even the regular kit has the spars pre-built by the factory. Basically, what you get is the wings and the fuselage in a state that looks very, very complete with most of the riveting done. And we have a wiring harness that is very complete, so you could literally lay the wiring harness in and, and start plugging connectors in. What will be left for you is pretty much doing the engine installation, firewall forward, finishing the wings, finishing the fuselage, doing the empennage and the flaps and the ailerons. So you will be doing some of the riveting on some of those components, which will give you the experience that you need to understand the construction of the airplane and get your repairment certificate. And then the avionics, which um, will have pre-built panel options that you can just place in as well. So essentially, you're going to be doing the, the second 90% of the airplane it appears that 90% has been done, but you, you, all, all of the, those little things need to be done. What kind of support can you offer the builder who's trying to do what they can by themselves and save a few bucks? You know, of course, the builder's free to get the quick build kit as they wish. And then we have online forums and we have some key members of the factory in South Africa have now moved out to California and are here permanently. Basically, people that have built more slings than anyone are now in the USA. We have all of the parts available at all times. We've got 
multiple airplanes worth of kits and every single part required so anyone can get anything shipped from California same day. And um, essentially we're on the phone every day to help people with any questions they have. That's an enticing offer. I'm going to have to think about it myself. I sure appreciate your spending time with AeroTV. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Aero TV is brought to you by Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B ATX100 and ATX100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com the KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com.